Yo, what's up guys? So today, um, we're gonna be making another video. Uh, today we're gonna be installing a sound system in my 2000 Chevy Silverado single cab. Uh, we got two 12 inches uh, subwoofers and then two speaker doors. We got the amps and all that. We got it right after work yesterday with my boy Tino. So I'm gonna show you right here what I got. So right here, we got two door speakers. And we got the two 12 inch subwoofers, both kickers. We got the wiring here and then the SSL 1500 amp. Uh, I got the box, but it's in the garage. So um, we picked this up yesterday after work and the next day after work today, we're gonna go ahead and install it. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be heading over there right now. So catch y'all then. guys right now uh, I have no radio at all because the previous owner of this uh, truck had uh, rewired the speakers to put speaker box behind the seats and yesterday when we bought the, uh, the subwoofer box back here we wanted to see if it fit so we disconnected them and uh, it looked like we have to remove this center console right here just to fit in the, the box so we unplugged those uh, speaker boxes and now you know see that the radio's all the way up I have no I don't have any audio coming out so yeah I've been riding without a radio for like two days but it's cool we're gonna get it working nice with these subwoofers and speakers I'm ready to start banging <laughs> So guys, we just got that seat out. It took about four bolts. So now they give us room to slide the box in the back. We're probably gonna have to grind this down so it's fit the box because it's gonna stab a hole through it. And yeah, so we're getting to work. I'm about to take these panels off. Tino's already working on the wiring. To the taco he just bought and I'm working on the body work so far but uh, yeah we got the majority of it sanded down and I really can't sand through here because I didn't have a 3M eraser wheel to take all that off but I just bought one the last one I had I had it on my right angle grinder thing and I put too much RPMs and as I was going right here I was like man it's going way too fast and then it just exploded on me and hit my hand and the battery fell and the, the, the the grinder itself like flew that way and I was like, what the hell? We, we put the battery and all that back in and it turns out I had it on like four instead of one. So that's a, that's a thing to look out next time.
So this is about how far we got. We were gonna put the amp on the back of, right there in the center of the subwoofer box, but we, we put it uh, underneath the passenger. We couldn't put it here because it was lopsided, so. guys so I'm gonna show y'all basically the finished product it really isn't because of this piece um, there's a speaker that's supposed to be on the door that's on the panel but we're gonna switch it eventually but this is basically the finished product um, we started at 7 and it took us all the way till around 2 o'clock in the morning finished and we had work the next morning uh, eventually, I am going to put an Apple CarPlay 7-inch screen in this radio conversion. But the thing is, this is a 9902. So to put a double DIN in here, you have to fix the brackets inside and basically make shift it to where you can fit a double DIN and all that. So that's coming next. That's going to take a while because I really want like a really good Apple CarPlay one because I like the way it looks with the... Basically, it looks like your, your phone's on the, the radio. So to the sound system I really do not like when I see um, the bass subwoofer tuner uh, down here it, it's just my preference other people can do it they don't matter but I, I don't like to have holes or stuff like um, screwed in there you know I like to make it look stock make it look mint all nice and clean so this is where I decided to put it I originally wanted it here but it was kind of hard so it, it, it's kind of hidden right here in between. So like, look, it still still works as a cup holder. Uh, even though I have these, I rarely use those. But you know, it, it's kind of hidden. You know, at quick glance, might be a little hard to see, but uh, I like that it's hidden there. That's the favorite part. So we, got, we were able to get that speaker uh, fitted up there and good. Um, um, the wires before that the previous owner put were pretty trash and bad um, So we Tino had to fix all that this there's no speaker in here right now um, we're gonna go back to Kings flea market or whatever Kings market and um, Buy ourselves the ones that go up there in the corner those two and we're gonna put this door speaker back there fix it all up and the amp fits pretty snug the kickers at two 12 inches um the bad thing about this box is i can't lift my center console up it gets stuck right here but uh no i don't i rarely have three people sitting there so it's all good um tino did a really good job at professionally running the wires in no wires dangling you can't even see where it comes from the battery all the way through we even for see you can see them right there they're zip tied but you know, from plants up here, you can't see it. So yeah, it came out pretty good. Pretty happy with the the outcome, and it bangs pretty hard. I'm gonna give you a little test. I already put a, a test one in there, but I'm gonna just do something on the radio because I can't record and play music with my phone at the same time. So. So guys, we're gonna put a little, uh, I guess, test song. See what good songs are on. You can already kind of hear the bass. I don't know if you can hear it through the phone as good as in person, but 
it bangs pretty hard. So right now the volume's at 23. Sometimes the speaker goes out because it's not really connected right now. We are gonna fix this later. It's not gonna stay like this. So yeah, right now that's on 20. We're gonna turn up the subwoofers up halfway. So I like it, pretty good. Other songs, you know, that have better bass, it, it, it really bangs pretty good. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked with the outcome. Uh, the box is, I guess, barely noticeable. Um, yeah, shout out to my boy Tino for helping me put this on. It was pretty stressful because some parts didn't really want to stick on pretty good. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do another update video. Eventually, I'm going to do a whole entire like truck walk around and show you everything. Who did it? How much did I paid? And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Appreciate you guys for watching.